Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for a new military video. Today we have the most destructive and the most powerful intercontinental ballistic missile in the world. The first missile of the list is the Dongfeng 31 from China. It's in service from 2006 and can be launched from Silo or Roadatel. Tel stands for Transporter Erector Launcher. The latest variant, the DF-31B, was introduced in 2017. It has a weight of 42 tons and a length of 13 meters. The range is 11,200 km. It can reach a speed of Mach 22 and the engine is made by a 3-stage solid fuel rocket. For the warhead we have or one warhead of 1 megaton or 5 MIRV of 20, 90 and 150 kilotons. Keep in mind that the Hiroshima bomb, the one launched in uh, the Second World War, was a 15 kiloton bomb. Here we have a minimum of uh, 5 MIRV, each one of 20 kilotons. MIRV stands for Multiple Independently Targetable Reentry Vehicle. This means that every single warhead can choose a different target, and in this case up to 5 different targets. At the ninth spot we have the M51 from France. It's in service from 2010 and it can be launched from ballistic missile submarines. And you can also check the missile submarine top 10 I made some time ago. The latest variant, the M51.2, was released in 2015. It has a weight of 52 tons and a length of 12 meters. It can reach a range of 10,000 km with a speed of Mach 25. The engine is made by a 3-stage solid fuel rocket. For the warhead we have 10 MIRV of 150 kiloton H1, for a total firepower of 1.5 megatons. At the 8th spot we have the RS-24 Yars from Russia. It's in service from 2010 and it can be launched from Silo or Roadtel. It has a weight of 49.6 tons and a length of 20 meters. It can reach a range of 12,000 km with a speed of Mach 20. The engine is made by a 4-stage solid and liquid fuel rocket. For the warhead we have two possible choices, or 3500 kiloton mir or 6300 kiloton mir for a total firepower of 1.8 megatons. At the seventh spot we can find the LGM-30G, Minuteman 3 from United States. It's in service from uh, 1970 and it can be launched from a silo. The latest variant was introduced in 2009. It has a weight of 35.3 tons and a length of 18 meters. It can reach a range of 13,000 km with a speed of Mach 23. The engine is made by a 3-stage solid fuel rocket. For the warhead we have two choices also for this one, or 3,475 kiloton mir or 3,350 kiloton mir for a total fair power of 1.4 megatons. In the 6th spot we have the RSM-56 Bulava from Russia. It's in service from 2013 and also this one can be launched from a ballistic missile submarine that you can find in the missile submarine top 10. It has a weight of 36.8 tons and a length of 12 meters. It can reach a range of 10,000 km with a speed of Mach 21. For the engine we have a 3-stage solid and a liquid head stage. The warhead is made by 6 MIRV, H1 of 150 kiloton, with a total fire power of 0.9 megatons. For the number 5 we have another Russian missile, the R-29 RMU-2 liner from Russia. It's in service from 2014 and it can be launched from a ballistic missile submarine. It can reach a range of 11,500 km with a speed of Mach 21. For the engine we have a 3-stage liquid propellant rocket. The warhead is made by 10 MIRV, H1 of 100 kg, with a total fat power of 1 megaton. At the number 4 we have the Dongfeng 5 from China. It's in service from 1981 and it can be launched from a silo. The latest variant, the DF-5B, was introduced in 2015. It has a weight of 183 tons and a length of 32 meters. It can reach a range of 13,500 km with a speed of Mach 22. The engine is made by a 3-stage liquid propellant rocket. 
For the warhead, we have two choices, or one of uh, 5 megaton, or 10 mirv of 150 kiloton H1. And we started the top 3 with another China missile, the Dongfeng 41. It was introduced in 2017 and it can be launched from Silo or Roadatel. It has a weight of 80 tons and a length of 21 meters. It can reach a range of 15,000 km with a speed of Mach 25. The engine is made by a 3 stage solid fuel rocket. And for the warhead, we have also for this one two choices or 1 megaton warhead or 12 MIRV H1 of 20 or 90 or 150 kiloton. At the second spot we can find the UGM-133A Trident 2 from United States. It's in service from 1990 and it can be launched from a ballistic missile submarine. The latest variant, the Trident D5LE, was introduced in 2001. It has a weight of 59 tons and a length of 13 meters. It can reach a range of 12,000 km with a speed of 24 Mach. The engine is made by a 3-stage solid fuel rocket. For the warhead we have 14 MIRV, H1 of 475 kiloton or 100 kiloton, for a total firepower of 6.6 .6 megatons. And we finish this list with the number 1, the R36M SS-18 Satan from Soviet Union. It's in service from 1974 and it can be launched from a silo. The latest variant, the R36M2, was introduced in 1991. It has a weight of 209 tons with a length of 32.2 meters. It can reach a range of 16,000 km with a speed of Mach 23. For the engine, we have a two stage liquid propellant rocket. For the warhead, we have again two possibilities one warhead from 18 to 25 megaton or 10 meters of 550 kiloton or 750 kiloton with a total fire power of 25 megatons. Please remember again that the Hiroshima bomb was 15 kilotons. One megaton is 1000 kilotons and this one have a maximum fire power of 25,000 kilotons. Okay, also for today the video finish here. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet and click on the bell to receive a notification when I upload a new video, but every Saturday you will find a new military video for sure or a new content and on Tuesday a little bonus that can be uh, Lego or uh, something else. You can find also the playlist here and in the description of the video with more video like this one. So if you liked this one, can you check also the others? Maybe you will like them too. And as always, you can leave a comment and let me know what I can improve, what I can do next. Any suggestion is always appreciated. So see you in the comments or in the next video. Bye!